So in this video I'm going to teach you how to use the print function and some basic debugging skills you can do with it. If you liked the video, feel free to give it a like, subscribe, and join my Discord in the description if you want to chat with me and other developers. So to get started, go ahead and go to the view tab right here, and make sure you have the output window open, and then go ahead and insert a script inside of server script service. So once you open up the script, you can already see there's some code uh, in the script already, and we can actually run this code. So go to the test tab and then click on run. And then you can see it prints hello world in the output. So what does the print function actually do? So anything in the parentheses that you type in will be displayed in the output window. So I'll go ahead and give an example. So instead of hello world, I can instead type in I like cats and then make sure what you're typing in has these quotes around it. And then if we were to run this right now, you can see it prints I like cats. So anything with quotes around, around it like this is called a string, like so. And what a string is, is, is pretty much just text, any text you want. So remember anything that is like this and it has quotes around it, it's a string. And then we can run this and it'll still work. So I'll go ahead and show you something that is in a string, uh, which is numbers. So you can print a number without any quotations. So for example, I can print a thousand right here. And you can see it works without any quotes. And you can type in whatever number you want, like so. Okay. And then you can also print objects. So I'm going to get rid of this. And then I'm going to go ahead and insert a part into workspace right here, like so. There's our part. And then in order to print this object, we need to first locate the object. So right now, the object is inside of the game. So we're going to go back to the script, type in print, and then type in game. And then you can also see that the part is under the workspace. So you can think of game as this explorer window right here, and you need to go from top to down. So first we're at the game, and then we need to go to workspace. So I'm going to type in dot workspace, and then we go down one more level, and then we type in the name of the object, which is part. Like so. Then we'll go ahead and print this. You can see it prints part. And I'll give you another example. Let's say this part is in a model, like so. And now we, if we were to try to run this, you know, it won't work because the part is no longer right underneath workspace. It's right now it's right underneath the model. So we're going to use the same logic here. Game dot workspace, and then we go down one more level, dot model, and then we go down one more level, dot part. And then make sure I put that down. Now we print this, it'll work now. So why is this useful? Why can't we just like, wouldn't it be the same thing if we just did this, for example? And if you have to run this right now, you can see it looks pretty similar, but there are some clear differences. Uh, the one being that this one is printing an object while this one is printing a string. And the, de the benefit to that is that we can also print some data about the object. So for example, we can print the transparency. So transparency is how see-throughable it is like this. So if we were to print the transparency by doing dot transparency and then we were to try to run this, you can see it prints zero. And then if we were to change this right now, so let's change it to 0.5 and then run this, you can see it prints 0.5 now. And then something you can do to make this a little bit more readable is also uh, we can put a print right before it like this and we can say part transparency is and then it'll print this next line here and if we were to run that you can see part transparency is 0.5 although it would look a lot better if it was on the same line instead of two lines so to do that we'll go ahead and uh, get rid of this so we're going to put a comma right here so we can put another another value and it will just put in the transparency. So game.workspace dot model dot part dot transparency. So what we had before except it's on one line now. And then if we were to run this, you can see it says part transparency is 0.5, so that's a lot of a cleaner way to write it. So that's basically it for printing. Uh, but what is printing actually used for? So I usually use printing to help me debug code. I use it in every script I make almost. 
So it's definitely a super, super useful function to learn. So I'll go ahead and give an example right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a script here and then go ahead and delete this since we don't need that anymore. And also delete this. Okay. And then I'm gonna write, I'm gonna put in some code here. So don't worry about what this code means. Uh, all it does is whenever this part right here is touch, it'll create an explosion uh, when it's touch. So that's all it does. So I'm going to make this a little bigger. Make it red for danger. And then if you were to run the game right now and try to walk on it, nothing happens. There's no explosion. So I'm going to go ahead and use a print function to try to figure out what's wrong. So I'm going to put a print here. I'm just going to type in explosion and this should print whenever there's an explosion. And then I'll put in a print here that says I've been touched. And this should run whenever, well, that's been touched. And if we were to run this right now, I'm going to walk on it, see nothing happens. So none of the code there is printing. So that tells me something is wrong on the outside of this. So I'll put another print. Let's just put it at the very beginning. Hello world. And then if I were to print, if I were to run this, you can see even that even hello world didn't print. So that just means the code isn't executing at all. So none of this code is executing and I need to know why. So if I were to look some things up, I'll eventually find out that I'm using a local script. And basically a local script can't run uh, un unless it's under a player or character. So this isn't that, so I'll go ahead and insert a normal script. And then I'll just move this over, like so. And then if we were to run the game now, you can see it prints hello world and it also prints this right here for some reason. So go ahead and run this and you can see it's printing I've been touched now. So now we know that the hello world and this print right here is functional. The problem is that there's no explosion print, so we need to figure out what's wrong with that. So we know this print works, so that code's running, and we know that this print works too, which means there's something wrong between these lines right here. So I'm gonna guess it's right here, and after a closer inspection, I can see that I spelled humanoid wrong. So go ahead and fix that by copy and pasting. So now I spelled it right with the I. And then if I were to try now, you can see that it works now and I am gone. So yeah. And that's the end of the video guys. If you want to see any other tutorials, feel free to comment down below. I'll see you next time.